What's up, YouTube? Team Jack Asher coming back here with a brand new Dragon Ball Super updated deck profile. This time I have updated my, as it says in the um, description below, my Vegeta GT Vegito deck. I reviewed this deck a couple months ago. Uh, it was mostly made, made a fun deck, but I've kind of tried to make it competitive, and it's actually still fun too. So before we get to the deck, we will get right to the leader, which I have reviewed before, which is GT Vegeta. Uh, one of the best ramp leaders. There, well, he actually is one of the. He actually is the best ramp leader because it is a Vegeta Blue. When this card attacks, draw one card once per turn. When you deal damage to your opponent by attacking with this card, look at the top card of your deck. If it's Mono Blue, you may place it in your energy in rest mode. Otherwise, place it on the top of your deck. So luckily, all cards in this deck are now Mono Blue. I took out some of the, I took out the red stuff because I figured it just slowed down the deck. Even though some of the red stuff was nice. As for his Awaken, if your life is 4 less, draw one card and flip him over. Unfortunately, I do not have a foil leader. I apologize. On the other side, he has Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Ultimate Evolution. And his abilities are like the same as on the front. When this card attacks, draw one card. Except that's a once per turn. And once per turn, auto. When your opponent activates a counter skill, this switch this card to active mode. So if your opponent negates your attack, you can switch into active mode and go for that extra energy again. Auto once per turn, when you deal damage to your opponent by attacking with this card, look at the top card of your deck. If it's a mono blue card, you may place it in your GN rest mode or place it on the top of your deck. So yeah, really good leader. You can attack twice if your opponent counters them, and you can still put cards on the top of your deck into your energy. Now onto the deck, I run two, two unisons. Uh, I don't run anymore. Uh, one King Vegeta Giant Force and one is Braddock Giant Force. We'll look at the King Vegeta. Because he is the better one. I hope to get more of these. Maybe put four in the deck because it's so good. Uh, he has an X of two to play for a unison. Two specific blue. blue. Uh, plus one active main. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards. With energy cost of four or less returns to the owner's hand. So that's pretty good balance for giving him one counter. Minus three. Active main. Pay one blue and X. If your leader card is blue, choose one. Draw X cards. Or choose X of your opponent's battle cards. And place them at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. Uh, since you're running a lot of ramp in this deck, you would mostly want to go for the draw if your hand's getting small, or if your opponent's got a big field, just bounce it all. Uh, next we have the Raditz with a specified cost of 3 blue. Uh, he's just a blocker. Auto once per turn when this card activates its blocker skill, switch to active mode. So you get two blockers at once if he survives the first attack. Uh, plus zero, active main, draw one card at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. So you can attack and then switch into active mode, draw a card, so you can activate his blocker skill on his next turn. Minus two, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, return it to the owner's hand, at the end of the turn, switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode. So, once you use uh, that minus two skill, you can untap one energy for your negates. Next we run four copies of Saiyan Duo Son Goku. He is our two drop, 5,000 combo, 1,000 power. Permanent is Saiyan Duo Vegeta is in your play in your battle area. This card gets plus 9,000, so it becomes a 10,000. When you play this card from your hand, you may choose one card in your hand. Place in the drop area if you do. Choose up to one Saiyan Duo Vegeta from your deck or drop area and play it in rest mode. Shuffle your deck if you look through. So he will be playing this Vegeta. Funny thing is, once you play this Goku, you can just use the card to pitch is a Vegeta in your hand, then his skill activates, play the Vegeta. So it's uh, really good. You you, don't, you can go through your deck if you want because you know Finny is winning, but if you got a Vegeta in your hand, you might as well discard it to play it from your drop. And that's all we have next is four copies of Saiyan Duo Vegeta. He is a two drop, 10,000 power, or sorry, 1,000 power. Uh, when this card is in play, you can't play non Vegito battle cards. So once you play him, you can only play Vegito cards uh, for the duration of the turn, or actually while he's out on the field. If Saiyan Duo Goku is in your play in your battle area, this card gets plus 9,000, so it becomes a 10,000. When you play this card, choose one of your blue energy and switch it to active mode. So unfortunately with that Vegeta, as long as he's out in the field, you can only play Vegito stuff. But if you got the Vegito cards in your hand, it doesn't matter. Next, we run four copies of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Rise of the Super Warrior. Uh, I just stole these from my friend Jordan's deck, which I'm going to review later, because I plan to have four of these in the actual deck, except they're all going to be SPRs instead of the uh, SRs. But anyways, he is a six drop, uh, specified cost of six blue, 5,000 combo, blocker. 
If your leader card is mono blue, when this card is played, look at the top four cards of your deck, add up to four mono blue cards, add them to your hand, or place them in your energy, or place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. At the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. So literally, look at the top four cards. I mostly put them in energy, unless it's something I need. If I get any of the Vegito stuff that I need to play for my energy, that'll go in energy. If I need something in my hand, it'll go to my hand. And the rest will go to the bottom of the deck, which really doesn't happen. It'll either go in my hand or go into my energy, which is really good energy ramp. Because if you draw the four cards you don't need, they can go to your energy and they don't come in tapped. So it's really, really good. You just gotta pay the six for it. And speaking of Vegito, we run four copies of Vegito Powers Combined. Uh, this is the one you want to see in your hand the most. You don't really want it going in your energy, because then you'll have no way of getting it back. So he is a 3-drop, 5,000 combo, 20,000 power Union Patara of 1 on a Goku and Vegeta that we looked at earlier. Uh, this is the one you need to play when Vegeta is out, because then you get rid of the Vegeta, then you can play as many cards as you want once you have this Vegito out. When you play this card... Draw one card, and if this card was playing with Union, draw one more card. So you get draw two for pay, for paying one. Uh, since Vegeta is untapping your one energy as soon as you have Goku Vegeta out, you could fusion for this, because the blue uh, Saiyan duo untaps your energy when he's played. That gives you the automatic fusion to do this guy here. Act main, pay two, choose one Vegito other than Vegito's powers combined in your energy with an energy cost equal to or your current energy, and play it, and place this card into your energy in rest mode. So we will show you four copies of awe-inspiring Intimidator Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. This is the one you mostly want to put in your energy so that this guy can play it from your energy, but as long as you have four more energy, that's good, but... You want to have 5 energy when you play this guy, because he is a 4-drop. 5,000 combo, 20,000 power. If your leader card is blue and this card is in rest mode, this card gains barrier and your opponent can only attack, cannot attack your leader card. When you play this card, if you have 5 more energy, draw 1 card. So, you want to play him when you have 5 more energy, although if you don't have that energy, if you can just play him from your energy with the Vegito, uh, it's really good for protect protecting your leader with. Because he's like deadly defender, but he doesn't lose the five, and he gains barrier, and your opponent has to attack, can't attack your leader card, uh, which is good if you're going up against a mono green original Broly deck. Your opponent's leader Broly cannot attack your leader, making you not have to discard a card, but your opponent has to discard a card when he attacks with the Broly. So it's a really good Vegito. You mostly want to see him in your energy, so you can cheat him out. Next for Vegito, we run the Secret Rare Ultimate for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. He is a 10-drop, 10,000 combo, plus when you use his combo. Uh, you don't play him for his Union Patara, so we can ignore that. He's got Ultimate, so you can only have one in the deck because it's a Secret Rare. He has Triple Attack, so you can attack three cards in a battle. And Triple Strike, and 40,000 power. So he is a main uh, powerhouse. I'm trying to get the camera to actually focus. So there's the picture there. It's pretty nice. And again... You, if you see him in hand, you want him in your energy, because then if you play all your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's, Rise of the Ultimate Warrior, and you have this guy in play, and if you have 10 energy, which I have done this before, uh, you get to play him from your energy. Uh, best way to get him out. Because if since you're ramping a lot with your leader, and then you play the SS4... You got six energy there, and by then you'll have by turn ten you can get him out, and still have a shit ton of energy left over. Then you can play your Unison, uh, King Vegeta Giant Unison, draw a lot of cards or just bounce a lot of stuffs if your opponent has a lot of combo fodder out, and go in for the kill with the Secret Rare. But we still got a whole half a deck to go through. So next, we got four copies of Weast the Resting Attendant. Four drop, 10,000 combo, plus when you use this combo, 10,000 power. And just a little bit more ramp if we need. When you play this card, I want the top card of your deck into your energy. So again, thinning winning. Uh, just a four drop. It shouldn't really hurt your energy that much if you're going for ramp. Uh, thank God for the Weast, it does not, your energy does not come intact. Next, we run three copies of Beerus, General of Demolition. He is a 7-drop, 10,000 combo, plus one use combo, 25,000 power, triple strike. We just run three because uh, I think if you run four, that's a bit too much. 
Uh, when this card attacks, a leader card, your opponent may choose two cards in their hand, place them in the drop area. If they don't, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and energy and place them in the drop area. So if you can get this Beerus out to stall out your opponent's hand a little bit more when you're trying to go for that Gogeta or something, or sorry, Vegito, something like that. But when Beerus is out, uh, your opponent does not want all their energy and battle cards to be gone, so they're going to have to pitch the two cards. So if you save up enough energy, you can play your Beerus, you can play your Vegitos, or you can play something else. Uh, really big, like this, I run two copies of Infinite Force Views Zamasu. Uh, he has a 10,000, sorry, he's a 10 drop, 10,000 combo, plus one uses combo, 30,000 power. I don't use his Union Patara either. Uh, he gains Indestructible. He cannot be KO'd by your opponent's skills or battle and does not leave the battle area. When this card attacks, choose up to one of each of your opponent's battle cards, battle cards only, energy, life, and hand, place them at the bottom of the deck in any order. So just when he attacks, your opponent has to scrap an energy, battle card, card from their hand, so they're pitching one of everything, including their life. If they're down to one life, he just takes it. I just add two because I think three or four would be too much. And since you're doing so much energy ramp, uh, you can just play him raw for ten if you want. Or if he just ends up in your energy, it happens. But it's really nice if you get the Zamasu out and you get the um, Secret Rare Vegito out. It's just devastating. I just threw it in there just for a little fun. I haven't yet to play it, but... I digress. Uh, next, for Super Combos, we run three copies of Boo Boo, Volley, Super Saiyan 3, Go Tanks, the Sparking Super Combo, uh, 10,000 Combo, and if you have five cards in your drop area, when you combo with this card, draw a card. And we run one copy of Vegeta Disciplined Warrior. He is the new Super Combo. Uh, when you combo with him, your life is four or less. When you use him in a combo, he gets plus 10,000 Combo for the battle. Then choose one card in your hand, place it at the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw two cards. So if you get something in your hand that you want in your deck, just put it on the bottom, and then you get to draw your two cards, which um, I do plan to get more of these once they drop a little in price, because drawing a lot is good and thinning is winning. Next for Negates, we run four copies and Magikorp, Bobbling the and weaveling, Weaving. He is a two drop, 5,000 combo, 15,000 power. Counterattack, negate the attack, play this card, and choose one of your blue entry and switch it to active mode. So he's basically a one drop negate. Uh, negate play, he's a little bit more attack muscle if you need it. Next we run two copies of Spirit Sword, negate. Uh, negate the attack. If your leader card is blue, negate the attack, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of two or less, return it to the hand. So to get rid of something your opponent has on the field that has like blocker or something. Just send it back to the hand so it won't attack you either. And of course we run four copies of Weiss Coercion. So it's a one drop, negate. Uh, negate the attack, then choose one of your energy and switch it to active mode. So that way you can play a lot more Weiss Coercions along the way. Once you just save them up in your hand when you're going for that big Vegito play or for Zamasu or Beerus. And finally we run four copies of Dimension Magic. It is a one drop, negate, negate the attack. Sorry, if your leader card is blue, negate the attack, then choose two of your blue energies, switch to active mode, uh, sparking five. If you have five cards in your drop area, take a card from your life uh, and play this card for free. And since you're playing it for free, you get to untap your two energy anyway, if you do need to play another dimension magic. Uh, that way you don't need to keep self-awakening yourself to get more cards in your hand. Anyways, that's it for the uh, updated Vegito deck. So tell me what you guys think in the description below, and don't forget to comment, rate, please subscribe. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, those links are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, comment, for more content, there'll be more content like this, and much more on my channel. So thanks for watching guys, see you guys later, thanks for watching.